So, well, th first of all, thank you very much for being here and for finding the time to, um, to visit IE and to visit us and to go over the many things that we're doing together. I had a, a, a couple of very quick questions for you, um, Amina. The, the first is when you look at the state of global affairs, what would you say are the biggest challenges when it comes to global governance? And what do you think is the role of the UN in addressing them? Mm -hmm. Well, not uh, easy questions today. Mm -hmm. we're clearly, we're facing many, many challenges as we always have. But I think today for us, it is, um, it's this polarization. It's the fact that the world is coming to a place where it's fracturing. It's fracturing in a way that um, is detrimental to all the gains that we've had, that we've built around different peace um, agreements, around development agreements, around the way that we've been able to take technology, even though there's still far more to do. Um, we've become so much more interconnected uh, and we've had, we've had a lot of gains. So that's all at risk. Um, and I think here, when we come to speak about um, what the UN can do about it, I think it is really to convene around the many issues that we need to double down on. So um, having stronger institutions, understanding what democracy in fact means uh, for us to come back together in conversations, but also in um, reinforcing what young people would see as a, a broken social contract uh, that exists today. So I think we have to speak to different audiences. I think we have to convene around these issues of human rights and governance and democracy. But we also have to push that we are still better together than we are apart. And we need to bring um, those issues that bring us together um, to, to trade, uh, to educate, uh, to have uh, health systems and uh, knowledge that is shared uh, across uh, regions of local government, um, where we take it for granted that, you know, perhaps people know or should know, uh, but don't. Um, so that, that I think there continues to be that role for the UN um, to bring our global community into our town hall and, and to, to, to strengthen it, to strengthen it. We will have to change the way we do things. The world is changing. It's got different constituencies that we need to bring in in this um, uh, networked multilateralism that the Secretary General speaks to. Uh, we have to think about, you know, looking at a peace agenda and a financial architecture that was not designed for the world today. It was the world that's gone by. So brave enough to, you know, come together to do that. And, and that's got to be a lot more about co-creating. This is not about a prescription. Um, people are more equal in their knowledge and abilities to take decisions uh, across the world. And so leaders need to come together and express that and, and to find uh, the common ground, um, common values and, and to, to, to protect them. It's, um, I mean, it, it, that is a core mission of the UN and in this fracturing world, polarizing world, it's going to become ever more important quite clearly. You know, uh, When many, many of the central agendas of our time, the climate agenda, the development agenda, are going to really struggle no, to, uh, to see these consensus built uh, globally around their core goals. A final question, as a, as a woman leader from the, from the South, uh, from the Global South, what role do you see for the for the Global South in, in that picture of fracturing, of striving to build a consensus on the big challenges we face? I think of in, the, uh, in the Global South having benefited, not as what was intended, but what has been quite clearly um, better together than apart, um, whether it is our peacekeeping, or it's our humanitarian crisis response, or it is development, the MDGs and the SDGs did see some gains um, uh, around poverty. Uh, I think that we could be bridge builders. Um, and I think that here, uh, not to further fracture, but actually to give us the reason why we need to be together. And I think that the Global South has a big role to play in that. Um, they are more or less together. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it is incumbent upon us to just put our arms around the world and just say that, well, you know, from little comes much um, in, in, uh, in, in what we have to share. So I think they could be bridge builders, particularly as the largest group on the floor in the UN. Mm -hmm. um, the G77 plus China uh, is, is a powerful voice. Uh, so I think, I think this is what is needed. What is needed right now is to find the reasons to stay together than the ones uh, to not survive 
uh, the war in Ukraine. I mean, we want to make sure we come out the other side, um, albeit very battered and bruised, but together and, and looking at the future in a different way, uh, because it will never be the same again. And I think we have to to help chart that way and, and, and ensure that younger nations, younger people um, are all a part of that. Well, that's a very inspiring answer. Thank you once again, okay. uh, Madam Deputy Secretary General. Thank you, Amina, for being here and for your time and for your answers. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a real pleasure and I've been inspired. Amazing. Thank you.